The 90th Academy Awards Ceremony, presented by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, honored the best films of 2017, and took place at the Dolby Theater in Hollywood, Los Angeles, California. The ceremony was held on March 4, 2018, rather than its usual late February date to avoid conflicting with the 2018 Winter Olympics. During the ceremony, AMPAS presented Academy Awards in 24 categories. The ceremony was televised in the United States by American Broadcasting Company, produced by Michael DeLuca and Jennifer Todd and directed by Glenn Weiss. Comedian Jimmy Kimmel hosted for the second consecutive year. In related events, the Academy held its ninth annual Governor's Awards Ceremony at the Grand Ballroom of the Hollywood and Highland Center on November 11, 2017. On February 10, 2018, in a ceremony at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel in Beverly Hills, California, the Academy Scientific and Technical Awards were presented by host actor Sir Patrick Stewart. The Shape of Water won a leading four awards, including Best Picture and Best Director for Guillermo del Toro. Dunkirk won three awards, Blade Runner 2049 Coco, Darkest Hour, and three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri won two awards each. Frances McDormand and Sam Rockwell won Best Actress and Best Supporting Actor awards for three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri while Gary Oldman won Best Actor for Darkest Hour. Allison Janney won Best Supporting Actress honor for I, Tanya. With a U.S. viewership of 26.5 million, it was the least-watched show in Oscar history. The nominees for the 90th Academy Awards were announced on January 23, 2018, at 5.22 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, at the Samuel Goldwyn Theater in Beverly Hills, California, via global live stream, from the Academy and by actors Tiffany Haddish and Andy Serkis. The Shape of Water led all nominees with 13 nominations, Dunkirk came in second with eight and three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri came in third with seven. Winners are listed first, highlighted in boldface, and indicated with a double dagger. The Academy held its ninth annual Governor's Awards Ceremony on November 11, 2017, during which the following awards were presented, the following individuals, listed in order of appearance, presented awards or performed musical numbers. Despite the mixed reception received from the preceding year's ceremony, the Academy rehired Michael DeLuca and Jennifer Todd as producers for the second consecutive year. In May 2017, it was announced that Jimmy Kimmel would return as host for a second consecutive year. Kimmel expressed that he was thrilled to be selected to MC the gala again, commenting, Hosting the Oscars was a highlight of my career and I am grateful to Cheryl, Don, and the Academy for asking me to return to work with two of my favorite people, Mike DeLuca and Jennifer Todd. If you think we screwed up the ending this year, wait until you see what we have planned for the 90th anniversary show. On December 4, 2017, it was announced that the timing of the ceremony and its pre-show had been changed and both would be scheduled to broadcast a half hour earlier than prior telecasts. In the first half of the nominations announcement, pre-taped category introductions were included that featured actresses Priyanka Chopra, Rosario Dawson, Gal Gadot, Salma Hayek, Michelle Rodriguez, Zoe Saldana, Molly Shannon, Rebel Wilson and Michelle Yeoh. As per the tradition of the Academy, the previous year's Best Actor winner usually presents the Best Actress Award for the next year's ceremony. In lieu of this, the previous year's Best Actor winner Casey Affleck reportedly decided not to attend the ceremony due to his sexual harassment accusations. Jodie Foster and Jennifer Lawrence presented the award together in his place. The Best Actor Award was presented by Jane Fonda and Helen Mirren. Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway returned to present the Best Picture Award for the second year in the row, after the previous year's announcement error. Sixth year in a row Derek McLean designed the stage with 45 million Swarovski crystals. ABC scheduled a late-night sneak peek of its new talk show The Alec Baldwin Show after the ceremony and late local newscasts. In a comedic acknowledgement of the length of the ceremony and acceptance speeches in particular, Kimmel announced that the winner with the shortest acceptance speech would receive a new jet ski. The shortest speech would be given by Mark Bridges for his.